No, no, no. Even when we taught the truth. Even when we taught the truth, we don't do it, sis. Even when we taught the truth, we don't do it. And it's real easy to point a finger. Right. God said he hates the pointing of the finger. Hold that. Go to Isaiah 58. Get Isaiah 58. We got to do it. God said stop pointing the finger. Stop pointing. It's an old saying. When you point your finger at somebody else, it's three fingers pointing back at you. Three fingers pointing back at you. So we got issues that we got to fix with ourselves before we can start complaining about anybody else. Right. Yes, people doing something to us. Yeah. Yeah, we oppressed. Yeah. Yeah, only Trayvon's, George Floyd's, Breonna Taylor's only happened to black people. Right. Yeah. True indeed. But that's three names I named. More than that, we killed today of our own people. That's right. We did that. Right. We guilty of killing far more than we blame on the white man. Right. We did that. How many children were aborted since 1973? Right. 11 billion. Right. 11 mil excuse me, million. That's how many abortions have happened. Right. How many murders of innocent children of our people have happened Teach. in that few of days? So we gotta, when we point the finger, we gotta be very mindful. We gotta be very, very mindful that we blame ourselves, that we acknowledge the three fingers pointing back at us. Right. Watch this, read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse nine. Bring it out. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. A lot of y'all think y'all praying and God answer. We just talked to a brother, he had a heart condition, and he died and he was resuscitated. He think, that God brought him back and that was the love. No, if God brought you back, which he did, it wasn't to just ride around on a bicycle ignoring the, 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 the word of God. What? It wasn't ignoring the sins that you went. That's not why he brought you back. Are you kidding me? That's the same mindset and saying, they killed our Lord and Savior so that you can keep doing the sin that he died for. Jeez. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Come on. Thou shalt cry. And he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger. God say, if we take from amongst us the blaming, the pointing of the finger, meaning we acknowledge our sins, we repent, and we change our minds. Acts 3 and 19. We repent, we change our minds. We convert the thing. We stop doing the evil SH that we do. Jeez. And we start doing righteousness yeah. that God said. Then when we pray, he'll answer. Hey. It won't be no baby blood leaking in the street and a mama crying, why? Why, Jesus? He told you that was going to happen. Right. You didn't listen. He told you. He told you. The prophets told you. Right. And we don't listen. Read. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore And be converted God said what? And be converted God said repent, change your mind And then change your doings right. Change what you're doing right. Don't just agree, change right. Go, uh, uh, Psalms 19 Psalms 19 Change, what changes us? What are we to convert to? Because everybody say, oh, this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. This is right. This is right. We all over the place. That's why when most of our people see some brothers coming with a Bible, they oh, the Jehovah's Witness. Oh, them Christian pastors. Oh, that's the Christian church. Oh, that's Baptist. That's Pentecostal. That, we ain't none of that garbage. Right. We ain't none of that garbage. Right. We the real men of God. That's right. We ain't no damn Christian pastors. Right. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 19. Verse 7, Read. the law of the Lord is perfect. The only thing that makes us perfect is the laws of the Lord. Right. So how do you know who's telling the truth, who's lying? If they ain't talking about the laws of God, they're a liar. Hey. They're a liar. Read that and you get first, first John uh, 2 and 7, 2 and 4. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The laws of God are the only thing that can change us. Right. The only thing, AA ain't gonna change you. You sitting on a white man couch talking about I go to psychologists, ain't gonna change you. What? You gonna leave crazier than you came in there with, a, with some drugs to take home with you. To kill you, to what? destroy your liver. Was that it? First John 2 and 4, come on. The book of First John chapter 2, verse 4. Bring it out. He that saith, I know him, and keep not his commandments is a liar. Mal Malachi 3. Anybody, 2. 
Anybody talking about they teaching the truth, anybody talking about they're a pastor of God and ain't talking about his commandments, they're a liar. That's what the word of God just said. That ain't my word. That ain't our word. The word of God just said that. Chapter 2, verse 7. Yeah. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. We the priests. We are the priests of God. Right. And our lips must keep knowledge. Hey. And the second our lips stop keeping knowledge, stop listening to us. Right. But what is that knowledge? What is that knowledge? Watch this. And they, and you listening, read, should seek the law at his mouth. If I ain't talking about the laws of God, I'm a liar and I'm no priest of God. Right. I'm a thief. Right. Go back to where we was. Oh, read on. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. I ain't my own. I'm not coming with my own message. My own message is going to get me and you killed. Right. I'm coming with the message of God. Right. Right. My mind is evil. We monsters without the laws of God. Right. Animals without the laws of God. Right. Read. Psalm so, chapter 19, verse 7. Read out. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Let's get 1 Corinthians 11 and 4. Yes, sir. I'm going to give y'all another law because y'all listening. Y'all standing here, y'all listening. And I'm going to show you how to become perfect. Teach. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to show you brothers how to become perfect. Teach. If you so choose. Come on. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Read out. Every man pray or prophesy. Having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. You notice, there's nobody out here with a hat on. If you've ever seen us teach in the wintertime, there's no hats on. It's because we honor our Lord. Right. Any man praying or prophesying, what we're doing is prophesying to our people. Right. Prophesying to God's children. Right. He said, anybody doing what? Praying. Any man, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, Dishonor of his head. Are our heads covered, sisters? The men? Watch this. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. So God said, For a woman, you have to cover your head or you dishonor your head. But who's your head? Verse 2. Verse 2. Now I praise you. Verse 3. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. This is our, this is our Lord setting His nation back in order. That's right. That's this right. is our Lord setting His nation back in order. That's right. Right. No more women strong, black. What you are strong as your man is. That's, That's right. as strong as you are. Right. That's as strong. You want protection? You better get behind the man. Right. 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 So God is saying, in this order. We are not greater than Christ. We are not. That is our Lord. That right. is our King. Right. So we uncover our head or we dishonor our King. Right. But for the woman whose Lord is before you, whose, whose, uh, whose uh, King is before you, which is the man, you must cover your head. You cover your head. Right. I'm going to read it again. Verse 3. But I will have you know. All of these are tests. All, all of these are tests, and you go. It's, it's, it's all of us come to a point in the road where we gonna choose or choose not. Bring it out. All of us, Jeez. me included. Dang, I can't have all these home no more. I can't, dang, I can't. Yo, I can't. Ah, oh, God, man, come on now. All of us came to a fork in the road. Right. You at your fork in the road, and there's more to come. Choose wisely. Come on. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. Hey. And the head of Christ is God. Every man pray or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So you didn't know that before, but now you're learning. Now you're being set in order. You're given a mind that is called the Holy Ghost. Jesus. You ever wonder, you thought the Holy Ghost was flopping on the ground and your dress come up and somebody got to put a blanket on you and you foam at the mouth and shout out. 
that's a lie. That's not the Holy Ghost. Right. You're receiving the Holy Ghost right now, which is the wisdom and the laws of God. That's Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. Real. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Heaven and earth is listening to us. Your ears, these witnesses right here, a mighty cloud of witnesses, by the way, are listening to the conversation that we're having. The, what I'm teaching you, and it's being recorded in heaven also. Read on. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death. Come on. Blessing and cursing. Come on. Therefore, choose life. Choose life. What is life? Baruch chapter 4. What is life? What is the life? He said choose. He said blessings and curses. Life and death. Bring it out. Come watch this. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. This is the book of the commandments of God. Notice it keeps saying laws, commandments, laws, commandments, laws, commandments, statutes, commandments, laws, judgments. Not religion, not Baptist, not Pentecostal, not Lutheran. It don't keep saying all these dumb religions. Seven day event, what's up, some more? Oh, uh, Je Jehovah's Witness, all this dumb stuff. It don't keep, you don't hear that in the Bible. Right. Notice it keeps saying laws, commandments. That's all we've been talking about. That's all you can read in the scriptures. Right. It's, watch this. Read it again. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. The law don't go away. Just because Christ died on the cross, it does not mean you can continue in sin. Right. That does not mean continue in sin. That means you don't have to die for what, you're, what you've done now. Right. If you choose to repent. As long as you got breath in your lungs, you can repent. You can choose life. You can choose life. That's why Christ died. So that you can get, so you can get yourself right. So you have time to repent. Right. Come on. All they that keep it. Shall come to life. All they that keep the book of the commandments shall come to life. So when Moses taught us, I said before you, life and death. Choose ye life. He was talking about the commandments of God. Right. That's the life that we are to choose. That's right. That's the life we are to choose. Anybody that do anybody that leave it, watch this. But such as leave it, but such as leave the commandments, turn their back on the commandments. Right. Don't keep the commandments. Right. Shall die. That's all you read in the Bible. That's all you read. The Lord ain't this fake the, the homosexual dude right here. Right. And he ain't playing. We play with him. He don't play with us. That's right. God don't play with us. He stood on business. He meant what he said. Right. He said, keep my commandments. And a commandment ain't no question. A commandment ain't no suggestion. A commandment is you're being told what to do. That's you don't do it, there's a judgment that comes with it. Right. That's what God taught us in this word. Come on. Read on. But, excuse me, verse 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. So it say turn. Repent. Christ has died. You have opportunity now. Turn. Turn, meaning change and repent. Come on. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. Walk in the presence of the wisdom of God. That'll stop all of the murders in our communities. Right. That'll stop all of the baby mamas, baby daddies in our communities. Right. That'll stop all the police killings in our communities. Right. Right. That'll stop all of that. That's right. Come on. That thou mayest be illuminated. We the Illuminati. That's when you right. come to the laws of God, you are the Illuminati. That's right. It's you. Right. You are the illuminated one. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.
Cristo. 